Good morning and welcome. Happy New Year 2021. This is the year to keep moving. Welcome back to your daily insight. We meet here every day, Monday through Friday, 5 to 10 minutes. We share the word of God and we start the week by sharing about progress. Uh, Today is progress day one where I do the introduction of what we are going to be covering. I know we have just started a new year and we are excited. I am excited because something new excites everybody. I am excited. I have this high expectation of the new things and new possibilities of what God is going to enable me to do. And uh, I'm also expectant of tarrying in his presence and hearing him uh, with the promises that he's promising me in the secret place. And I am excited because his grace is sufficient. His mercies are new every morning. And I'm sure that you can share with me the excitement. Wow, after what we've been through in 2020, it's like we couldn't wait for 2020 to be over and we get a new year. And so I'm going to start this week by speaking about progress. We need progress. We need to keep moving on. We need to make progress because we have been given an opportunity to serve the purposes of God in our generation. So the theme of this year, the Lord gave me this verse from the book of Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 25. It says, let your eyes look directly ahead uh, ahead, and let your gaze be fixed straight in front of your path. So uh, one of the most important thing that we need to focus on if we are going to to make progress is to maintain focus. It is very important for us to know where are we going? What do we want to achieve? What is it that we want to do? And that is where the issue of making resolution comes in. And I remember uh, on the 1st of January, I did an, a, a video, I did a live broadcast as I shared this word, uh, the word of the Lord, the word of the year. And I say that many at times we make resolutions and we have failed to follow through. For example, there are countless times I've said, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to do all these health programs. We've, uh, we've, we've even teamed up with some some of my girlfriends. We are doing intermittent fasting. We are doing I don't know what program or what program. But along the way, <laughs> somehow we don't follow through. And I know that I'm not alone. There are many times we make this commitment, we make these resolutions, but we, 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 we are human, we are limited, we are not able to do it. But we need, for us to make progress, we need to maintain focus. And for us to do this, we need to get to the place where we accept our limitations as human beings and ask for help. We tell the Lord, we cannot do it without you. We need you. We need your grace. We need your help. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit is our helper. We need to come to the place of accepting the help of the Holy Spirit. Yes, we want to make progress. We want to make progress in our prayer life. We want to make progress in our spiritual life. We want to make progress in our intellectual life. We want to make progress as a family. We want to make progress as a church in whichever area that you desire to make progress. Yes, we want to do that, but we cannot do it on our own. We want to maintain that focus, but there are so many other distractions. There are so many things that can distract us along the way. And so this week, as we talk about how we are going to make progress, how we are going to move on and keep on, uh, you know, taking that one step at a time, uh, one foot ahead of the other and uh, taking those steps, you know, the, the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step, you're making progress. We cannot do it alone. We need to tell the Lord, we need your help, Lord. We cannot do it on our own. And that is the prayer we are going to pray today, this morning in our daily insight. Today we are saying, Lord, we desire to make progress in 2021. We want to make progress. We don't want to be stuck in the same place. I know in 2020, there are some people who felt like they got stuck. Fear paralyzed many. Uh, the, 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 The pandemic 
disorganized many and you felt like everything you planned didn't work out but in this year 2021 it is a year to keep moving and we are going to make progress but we are not gonna do it on our own we agree we humble ourselves before the lord and we know that lord when you hold our head we are going to make progress the bible says that the steps of the righteous are ordered by god and so today join with me in faith in prayer as we commit our lives to the Lord and ask God. This is the desire of our heart. We desire to make progress. Yes, you have required of us to have focus, to keep our eyes looking ahead and our gaze looking before us. Yes, you have required of us to make sure that our steps and the paths that we are taking are sure. But Lord, we need your help. May you order our steps, O God. May you hold our hands, O Lord. May you enable us to make this progress. We cannot do it without you. We need you, Lord. In this new year, we need you, King of all glory. We yield to you, Lord. We yield to you, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Lucy Painter with your daily insight. And this is Progress Day 1. May you make progress in Jesus' name. Shalom.